Hi, it's me again with Corona Roll Tips and Tricks, and this is part two about getting this logo ready for the laser. I started thinking about, there's probably a lot easier way to do this. So we're gonna left click, right click. We're gonna take our butterfly and nudge it out of the way. We're gonna take this part and nudge it down. I made it a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. There are some parts of the butterfly or the chisel we need and some we don't need. We need that part right there, so we're gonna nudge it over. We do not need that center line, so we're gonna delete it. Let me zoom in here. We do not need this line right here, but we're gonna, it's part of the, it might be part of the square, so we're gonna just delete it because it's not. Now we're gonna nudge or get rid of the other parts that we do not need. We do not need the center lines of any of it. And then you could do a lot here with virtual segment delete key or not. And, you know, we're just gonna, we could have deleted this and this really in the part of the video that I'm talking about yet. And now we have our chisel. Well, we do the same, I did the same thing in the previous video. Now, we're hoping it doesn't leak. And before we put that piece in there, we need to weld it. See what it looks like. Looks good. Now we can bring this other piece in. And because we're nudging, we can just nudge it right back and weld it again. And we are, nope, that isn't going to work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we're just going to, instead of trying to figure it out, we're just going to take the virtual segment delete key and cut right through there. Now I'm pretty sure it's not going to leak, so we're going to take the smart fill tool. And now we have a new item. The chisel is ready to go, but we're going to left click, right click, and make a duplicate of it and move it over and go ahead and fill it in with black. Then this is the part that's going to make life a little easier. We can take this butterfly, I just didn't think about it in the first video, take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in, fill that in, fill that in, fill that in. So now we've already got the part of the butterfly we need. We don't need this part of the butterfly anymore. We're going to go up to object and can group this together. We can actually left click, right click, and now we can nudge it up to our real butterfly and we can intersect it. Look at that. That quick. We got rid of all the lines and you can take the Smart Fill tool and fill in the butterfly, fill in your other part and you got your chisel. So it, the intersect tool took away all the inner parts made life a little easier. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.